the University of Jamestown. Physical therapy program. New facility, new equipment. One building all to ourselves. Small class size. We get to work with, with uh, these patients kind of one-on-one. -on -one. From spinal cord injuries to Huntington's disease to stroke. The professors and the instructors and everyone was so relatable. The most caring, compassionate, kind, accommodating people that I have ever met. Being in Fargo has been really great. There's bowling, there's axe throwing. Movies, baseball games, concerts. Relax and have some downtime with your classmates. Jody Grugel from the admissions department at UJ came to my high school and she began to talk to me about all of the programs that they had um, offered through the university. And one of them that really stuck out to me was the physical therapy program. And I had just gone through some physical therapy myself due to some sports injuries. So that was really interesting to me. And I kept that in the back of my brain for a while. And at that point, I just decided that, yeah, that sounded great, as well as the early admissions, um, kind of the fast track direct entry program that they had. I shadowed some PTs and I did some other things in the medical field and I really, really liked the ability to, to help people. And when people have injuries and they're, they're hurting and they're at that low point in their life, I really liked coming alongside them, helping them out, getting them back uh, to where they want to be and helping them reach those goals and just that was the the main driving factor with a, with a bunch of other things that i really like um, being active and, and, and the sports side of things it all kind of worked together i was uh, involved in athletics um, early on you know throughout my whole life i've, I've kind of been been an active person been in sports and uh, when i was deciding on what i wanted to do after i i uh, graduated from college I, I shadowed physicians, I shadowed athletic trainers, shadowed physical therapists, and um, one of the reasons that I kind of fell in love with this profession was the, um, the contact time that you have with, with patients and being able to work with, um, with these patients and getting to know them a lot better throughout the time that you're helping them. And I um, did a lot of job shadowing, which really helped me to of define what I wanted to do. I actually job shadowed out here at JRMC, which was great having that opportunity to do so just here at home. And so I job shadowed a radiology technician and I was like, oh, that could be really interesting. I was, I knew I wanted to be in the medical field. I didn't quite know what. Then I came over to the physical therapy department and I job shadowed and it was fantastic. I didn't hardly know much about it and it's still a growing field. So a lot of education is still being done about physical therapy. And so I knew that's what I wanted to do after that. I grew up playing sports, so I had my fair share of physical therapy. And it was always one of my like best experiences because they got me back to what, doing what I loved. So just going into that, um, I knew that I wanted to be able to help people get back just to what they wanted to do. So I was in the Jamestown's direct entry program. So I knew I wanted to stick with Jamestown and I had a great experience in undergrad, and I knew I was going to get the same experience coming here for grad school. I really liked the variety in the field and always being like able to be active and have just a variety of like inpatient, outpatient, different settings like aquatics, and being like active during my job was the main thing. I didn't want to have to sit behind a desk, and it's very hands-on, and I'm a very hands-on learner, and I really like communicating with people, and this career field allows me to be able to communicate and build relationships. Uh, when I was applying for schools, I was uh, looking at schools kind of in the area, like in the Rocky Mountains, kind of Midwest region, and um, Jamestown was uh, one of the schools that offered me an interview, and I just got a really great uh, vibe when I interviewed and came to visit, so it was an easy choice from the beginning. I do come from Illinois, so I traveled a long way, but when I was looking into schools and applying, I really liked the small atmosphere here in that we did have one building all to ourselves um, for our PT students. And when I came for my interview as well, I felt so welcomed here. And it was just one of the best experiences I had, and it really drawn me to here. And I really liked that they had um, a new pr program building, new facility, new equipment and really nice equipment that we are able to use daily in our classes. 
and all the faculty was very welcoming on our, my interview day. So it, it just felt like my right place for me. And I would describe it best as cozy. When all three classes are there, it is, it's snug, but in a very good way. It gives you an opportunity to see the upperclassmen and say, oh, I'm gonna be them one day. And you can just see them and you know that they're in a class that's really hard and very, you know, they're struggling through it. But then also when the underclassman comes in and you're, in, you're the sandwich in the middle, you can just see like, oh, I came from there. I worked so hard and I've grown so much just in a year. It's just a fantastic environment just for learning. Yeah, the first class uh, of Jamestown had people from kind of all over the place. We had uh, a good majority of kids from the Midwest. So we had, you know, the North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, Minnesota, and then we had kids sprinkled in from, from all over the country, from Washington to, to uh, Illinois and, and anywhere in between. And it really worked out is because we had people from outside experiences, we had people from the Midwest, and when you're with these people for, for all day, every day for, you know, two and a half years in the classroom or two years in the classroom before you go out, you really start to, to become a family. And that class, really, that first class, we were the first ones going through. We were the, they called us the, the pioneers. And we um, went through a lot of stuff and, and were able to, to grow together as a family. So being here in the physical therapy program is pretty similar to being at campus at Jamestown. The class sizes are still fairly small. We have 36 in each class. And that really gives good opportunity to get to know your classmates well. I really have loved being in a small class size um, in undergrad as well as in the PT program, just because you get to know everybody and everybody becomes just a big but small family at the same time. Our classes, have, I think they're a lot different from undergrad. They're way more focused and maybe it's just because I really like what we're learning it kind of solidified that this is where I'm supposed to be. And the professors make it so easy. If you ever have questions, they're willing to help. Everybody wants to help. And even being a first year student, like you can walk up to anybody, second year, third year. If you have questions for them, they'll give you answers. And if they don't really have them, they'll send you to somebody that's gonna give you the right answer. You're involved with your peers, with your, with your instructors and you just got a lot of hands-on repetition with, with some of these skills and techniques that we are um, gonna do eventually in the real world. We all get along really well and the faculty is there to help you and I can get to know the faculty unlike the bigger university, so it's really nice. Whenever you have questions, they're always there to help and everyone's helpful on anything that you have going on outside of class and inside of class as well. Seeing all the different kinds of patients with different diagnoses from spinal cord injuries to Huntington's disease to stroke. There's a whole lot that we have the opportunity to see and I'm grateful that the University of Jamestown gives us that opportunity. Uh, we have a series of, of uh, classes where we get to work with, with uh, these patients kind of one-on-one -on -one and get to see what, what these you know, people actually look like. Uh, rather than just reading it in a textbook. One of the things that I really liked about going to school at University of Jamestown is that the professors and the instructors and everyone was so relatable and they always had their doors open and they always were willing to to help if you had questions and they all just had just come from working in a clinic somewhere so they had all that knowledge of working with actual real patients um, in and out for, for years um, along with all their certifications that they have and you're able to to be in a relationship where you never felt weird or uncomfortable approaching them about any topic and they are always there. I know we had nights and weekends where, where they would come in and help us um, study for labs or for practicals and it really just that whole family atmosphere that, that I've mentioned before really came true even with the professors. So my instructors were the most caring, compassionate, kind, accommodating people that I have ever met. They got to know you and it's not just about knowing your name and knowing what kind of student you are, but they, they wanted to see you succeed, so they got to know what motivated you and how to motivate you. Uh, here, I think the, the faculty and the, and the professors do a good job at making uh, things very um, rich, and the learning experience is, is kind of, uh, like I said, stimulating throughout the entire time you're here. So being in Fargo has been really great. I love being here. There are tons of things to do all the time. Movies, baseball games, concerts, tons and tons of stuff. It's been a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm not used to this cold this early, 
but it's been super nice coming here. I like the area. It's nice. Everything seems, everybody, all the people here seem very nice, welcoming. I haven't had any problems with that. And it's been super easy to live with her because <laughs> she's from the area she knows. So she's kind of walked me through the area. There's bowling, there's ax throwing. There's a ton of breweries around that we can go to. Just hanging out at other people's apartments or houses. There's tons of opportunities to just relax and have some downtime with your classmates. So my career began over at the Bethany Communities in Fargo. And that, in that uh, environment, it was a transitional care unit. And so people would come and they were very complex, had health conditions, they were unable to return home and they needed a lot of hard work to be able to go back home if they were even able to get back home. And so um, it was a lot of supportive care and very quick thinking and just complex, complex patients. And so then I was there for almost two years before um, I took the leap and applied here at JRMC. And this was a very different environment because the folks that come here are primarily outpatient. And in a rural community, you see a lot more types of patients and they come in from home. They're able to be home. They're strong enough to be home and care for themselves. I had had the opportunity to get to a great, great job at this outpatient clinic um, apex right away out, out of school. And it, it worked out well for me to, to move back to Jamestown and clinic there. But I had friends that found jobs all over the country in, in nursing homes, in transitional facilities, outpatient clinics, inpatient hospitals, um, travel, um, PTs, a lot of people, um, for some reason, a lot of people left uh, North Dakota and headed south to, to get warmer in Arizona. We had, you know, four or five that went that way. Um, but a lot of them stayed, stuck around here. I know I have at least four or five classmates that work in the Twin Cities area. Um, there's a handful of us that are still in North Dakota and Fargo here, um, some in Dickinson. So they kind of, when the thing about PT is that if you're willing to work in, in multiple settings, you can really find jobs all over the country. What I do for my patients, I help them meet their goals and a lot of people don't understand how much goals are integrated into the world of physical therapy, but it, they truly are. They're one and the same. And so they would come with these fabulous goals. I want to be able to get down on my hands and knees to garden, but I haven't been able to kneel for the last five or 10 years. And so you're like, oh boy, let's do this. And so just, you know, gaining the strength, gaining the mobility to be able to meet their goals. That's what I'm able to do. And now in the inpatient world, the biggest thing is to be able to go home. And that's huge. And I understand how meaningful home is to patients. And so I do, I work my hardest. I make sure that they're as strong as they can be, as safe as they can be to be able to go home. The, the clinic that I work at, we have a, we have a um, very um, hands-on approach. So I, I, when I work, I use my hands a lot. I you know, do soft tissue therapy, uh, manual therapy. We do a lot of that. And then we always progress into that exercise, which is what most people think of the physical therapy part is. Um, you know, exercising people and working them a lot, but we, we spend a lot of time with hands-on. When I graduate, I would like to have a job somewhere uh, in the Midwest, probably. I have a lot of family around North Dakota, Minnesota. I don't know what setting I want to be in yet. Um, they, they say to keep an open mind when you're here in the program, because you never know what experiences you're going to have in clinic. So for the most part, I'm keeping an open mind, but definitely someplace um, Midwest, North Dakota, Minnesota, probably a small town is where I'll end up because I'm from a small town in North Dakota. When I'm done here, I want to pass my boards, get my license, and then I want to practice in the out orthopedic outpatient setting. So I could see myself working with kids and just seeing how they grow in change as they go through therapy? Uh, after graduation, I plan to do some travel physical therapy. Um, I kind of have a, a route mapped out in my head going up through uh, the Northwest and the Pacific Northwest and kind of go down California and maybe end up in, in Arizona or someplace warm, but that's kind of the plan for right now. I really like the unit so far on the axial system. So I thought about maybe specializing in the spine but that's just right now where my interest is at with our courses so far. Um, I also thought about maybe taking a traveling opportunity in my first few years. Um, and I also have thought about going back to my hometown and giving back to my community because they've done a lot for me. So I thought about going back to there.